We are here, we are here, we are here on this amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis, and we are marking up C BTC USD. We are on the 12 month time frame. Price action last candle to right hand side is a bullish green candle. Stopped at the midpoint of the second last candle or the bottom of that third to last candle. So it stopped at a midpoint in that area. So we do have current price sitting at 29.818. So if price pushes up further, price action can tag that highest high of structure, not landing at the numbers of 45,822. And if price pushes down, it can tag the bottom of that second last candle body, which will be near the numbers of 16.376. And we can clearly see that market is near that midpoint of the second last candle, near the numbers of 31.912. So if price action pushes up further, where and what can happen? So let's look. Let's go back and just see what price is coming from. So market price is coming from some type of patterns at the low. So we have the first candle being red. So let's think about that market coming down from somewhere for that first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. So we have a double bottom. Market came back to retest, pushed up once for a high, came back to retest that overall midpoint. So the second last candle bottom of that body and price action bottom of that body has tested near the midpoint of that overall structure and then price action created some momentum and we're going to see if it's going to push up so so far price action is having a slight hard time breaking through the midpoint so we see the pullback on the current price action candle drop down a little bit not saying that it can still follow up and push up with a bullish green candle or the next candle can follow up and push that market up so if so, market will be coming from an overall first, second, third, fourth retest one overall retest to the midpoint, and this will be the second push, and then we'll see the market's going to push and break out and retest that top to push up further. But it definitely has to break that second last candle wick to see if that market's going to push up overall. Because if not, then that means that the market can drop down. If the market drops down, it's headed from the Third to last candle to market wick, which lost a lot of momentum. So market pushed up with this candle, lost a lot of momentum, came back down, came back down all the way to the midpoint of that structure. And this is where market tagged that midpoint of the second last candle. So if the market pushes down, so I'm going to say the market is denied at the midpoint to so identify when the market spiked up to the high with the third to last candle. It created the first leg, second leg, price action is the third leg. So that means it can be rejected. It can break a little bit further up, but it, it can identify a rejection. If so, it will engulf the price action candle and drop that market down for a double top. Or we can just receive consolidation overall, second to last candle in the market. So that market can bounce up and down uh, within that uh, second last candle towards the bottom side, which is currently at or towards the top side of the midpoint of the second last candle. Walking down to the six month time frame. So price action six month time frame is reading as a bullish green candle. Same as well. So same structure. Only thing different is the fourth and fifth to last candle is a spike up to the high. So just reading the wicks, what is this reading is that the market came to a high twice. So it's a double top here. And it's the retest. So it's a double top retest. Market came back to a midpoint. So if that market drops down with the bearish red candle, it's coming from a double top and retest. And the market came back to retest once again. And it can drop down. But right now, price action is near the midpoint line. So we have to wait to see what's happening. So we're going to follow up and walk down the time frame. So on the three month time frame, we have price action as a bullish green candle, more like a doji. So we receive a consolidation. And now we can see that double top towards a high. So let's talk about that. And let's talk about if price drops down from this area or it creates that momentum. So if it, if it drops down, as I said before, we had that double top and we can see it clearer for that first, second, third, 
four. So we have that double top. Market created the M pattern, came back to retest with the price in second or primarily a second last candle, came back to retest that M pattern at that midpoint, and then the market consolidated sideways. So we are in consolidation. So we're going to see the market's going to follow up uh, for the push up. So if it pushes up, that means it's respecting that second last candle on the three month time frame, which we primarily on the price action. So let's talk about it. So the market pushes up. So you got to remember, guys, this area structure right here is overall midpoint of the highs and lows from the 12 month time frame. So the market came back to retest that area. It did create that first oh, coming down. First, second, third. So that means that the third last candle is a retest. The second last candle is a push, so it's a double bottom. And the market price retest again. If it follows up the bullish green candle, you'll see a breakout. So that means identify coming from the first, second, third, fourth, retest and receive one push for the breakout. But we're still looking for a price to break that area. Now, headed down to the weekly time frame. So price action weekly time frame is a bullish green candle side by side with the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and last candles in the market. So these last six candles in the market is consolidation so we're going to see if it's going to respect for that market to push up or it's going to continue to consolidate as we see or it's going to drop down from a pattern working our way to the daily time frame so price action on the daily time frame is reading as a bullish green candle spike up to the high so that mark is retesting something so it can drop down if not it can follow up in the bullish green candles but let's break this uh, chart down so first thing we're going to do is let's see when the market broke out the previous day high and the previous day low of that second last candle wick so as we walk down the time frame we can see what pattern was formed as we can see some patterns currently now so overall structure so the way we break this down to figure out what's happening is that you know market is coming from the previous day so we created that zone at the bottom so that will be the support the high would be the resistance so i'll be near the numbers of 35 6, 7, 1. and we can see that if we created the low of the solid low of that low which will be near the numbers of 27 290 and if we have a midpoint and that'll be near the numbers of 29031 so we did receive the break of the market acts where it's coming from it's coming from the low of that pattern so that's the overall retest also we received the break of the second last candle so we can see that first second third fourth so we have a double bottom market broke the midpoint now this is where we're going to see as we walk down the time frame is it going to retest to push up further or is it going to follow up the bullish green candles to push up further unless it drops down and lose momentum and it drops down and create that pattern so if it drops down it coming from a, a structure of a pattern let's talk about that on the four hour time frame so on the four hour time frame let's do it on the daily time frame it looks much more clear so on a four hour time frame it will identify as the overall first second third fourth so double top market came back to that zone came back to retest and if it's denied which is i mean that price action would pull back or the following candle would drop that back down a bearish red candle it can come from a double top and a retest so as we walk down the time frame we can see we're going to pay attention to what happened when the market did break uh the structure of that zone so the past previous days um the 25th 24th 23rd 22nd 21st that market did consolidate created that pattern for that overall first second third fourth retest market pushed up retest market pushed up again so market's coming from a quadruple bottom or triple bottom and a uh, retest and market pushed up to that high and fully broke out so now we know that the market is broke above the midpoint we finally see the retest with the price action so we're going to see if this market is going to respect and it's going to follow up with the uh, um bullish green can do unless it's denied i mean price act created that double top it could be denied come back down to that midpoint of near the numbers of 29 105 and still work its way up unless that market breaks through the sr line okay guys please study and review forex pattern cheat sheet breakout retest strategy click on images okay guys btc usd